So spiccato. Um, probably the, the stroke that you hear a lot of string players in the, in the halls of Swope um, complaining about. Um, so spiccato is naturally a bounce stroke. It's a thrown stroke. It's, it's a stroke where the bow leaves the string between each and every note. Um, it's a very detached sound. It's a very, it, it can vary greatly in its accented um, nature. It can vary in its lightness and its delicacy. It's a very versatile bow stroke. And that's great. Um, and that's what makes it so hard. Um, something that's really important to know and really important to apply is that a chain of spiccato strokes always, 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 every single time begins from the string, okay? This is what you'll see high school students do when they start doing spiccato strokes. You'll see them go, I'm ready to do the spiccato stroke. Okay? So the problem is I started from the air. So once again, it looked like this. And they might get into a good spiccato stroke, but that first note is going to be terrible. It's going to be a giant crash of sound. It's going to hit multiple strings. It's going to be so inaccurate. It's going to be, it's going to sound bad. Um, so inversely, what we should do and what we should teach and be very, very insistent about is starting from the string. So what that looks like is this. I'm going to get close. Okay, so I'm starting from the string, and I'm going to pop up, okay? Um, some people like to think about it as a, almost as like a pizzicato stroke um, with the bow. Um, so if you remember a pizzicato, you're pulling away. Kind of feels the same. It's a similar feeling. Okay, so what it looks like. Once again. Okay, so I gave you some alternating, starting on up, starting on down, um, different angle. I want to give you an angle from the other side here, okay? So here I am, making sure that I'm starting from the string. Okay, so always make sure you do that. Um, something that's really going to help us, um, I'm going to show you different, some different tactics right now that can help us with our spiccato stroke. Number one is probably the most famous of all, is finding the balance point, finding the balance point of the bow. So for instance, and, and that's where you want to maintain, especially your beginning spiccato strokes. So for instance, I'm going to find the balance point of my bow, and it's going to be towards the bottom. I'm going to flip this over so you can see it against the whiteboard. Okay. So if you can see, maybe that's a little too much. So that, that's about my balance point. So if I'm bowing, I want to be just about there, okay? So I'm going to find my balance point again quickly. Okay? And then I'm going to bow there. So that's about where I was, maybe a little closer. And that's where the bow is going to naturally be the bounciest. Um, that's probably one that we're very familiar with. Um, something else that can work is thinking about throwing a basketball. So when you're throwing a basketball, when you're dribbling a basketball, you don't throw it to the ground and then bring it back up and throw it down to the ground and bring it back up. You throw it down and then it comes back and you throw it back down and it comes back up and you throw it back down. Okay? So you kind of just do that. You're throwing the basketball down to the ground and it's coming back up to you. Okay? And that's kind of how spiccato stroke works as well. Okay. So I need to think about down. So a good way to do that is to eliminate the left to right variable entirely. I'm just going up and down right now. It's important to do that right where the bow is bounciest, not out here. That's cheating. Don't do that. Do it at the balance, the bounce point, because in this way, it's going to feel a lot different. This is easy. Don't do this. Some some teachers will start there, and they'll come in, and they'll come in, and they'll come in, and they'll transition to that spiccato bounce. You can do that. Uh, maybe that's a good accommodation or a differentiation, I should say. 
Okay. And that's generally what our spiccato stroke is. Um, something that you need to make sure that you're doing and that your students are doing is that your spiccato stroke is practiced on every string. And because the angle of gravity is always down, right? But the angle of the strings changes, okay? So for instance, spiccato on G string feels a lot different than spiccato on E string. Okay? So, I mean, you can see it's my bow angle. That's very different. So, when we do this, we need to think about going to the instrument and making sure that our bow is going towards the center of our instrument. Not straight down to the face, but straight down to the center of the instrument. You see that difference in angle? So this is down to the face, or the table of the instrument. This is down to the center, or the core of the instrument. Okay? So, instead of this, this. Okay? I know this video is a little bit longer, but I wanted to kind of give you some different ideas, and hopefully that helps you. And have a great time with Spiccato Stroke.